Jen from Dejan Eats, home of the Irie Happy Vegan. I'm glad that you could join us for another cooking tutorial. Today we're going to do a Jamaican staple, reimagined, <laughs> so to speak. Um, in Jamaica we have a green leafy vegetable called Kalaloo and most people will cook that. Um, in fact, most people I know tend to overcook it. It's a very tender green. It's similar I'd say perhaps the spinach, it's not as tender raw as spinach, it takes a little bit more work to get it to eat it raw, um, but you can absolutely, totally eat it raw with a, prepar with a proper preparation and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a raw massage colored salad, alright? Okay, so I have about a pound of kalaloo. As you can tell, it's bright and leafy. It's been washed, it's been rinsed and spun, so it's, it's fairly dry. And we're gonna start by getting rid of the stalk. We don't need this because it's a little hard and since it's going to be a raw salad, we gotta get rid of that. If you hear these sounds around, those will be my dogs. <laughs> They're helping me cook today. Now guys, a lot of people tend to discard this. Um, it's not applicable in our, in our salad today because it's a little too hard, but it can totally be used in stir fries. Um, normally when I make it in stir fries, I would blanch it a little bit first and then toss it in the stir fry to give it a little bit of texture separate from the tender green leaves. Alright, so we've gotten rid of most of the stock. And now we're going to roll it tightly and then chop it into fairly small bits. Actually, we want to get rid of a little bit more at the end like that. Okay. Now we're good to go. <laughs> now this is going to be a small salad for two. For those of, gu those of you guys who know us, there are only two of us in my family. That's my husband and myself, not counting the dogs. So I normally cook small dishes unless I'm doing a dinner party or I'm catering. Now we're gonna cut this really small since it's gonna be eaten raw. So it's gonna be akin to a chopped salad. That's beautiful. For my American friends or my friends who are in other countries, um, that are you know not in Jamaica and might not have access to kalaloo, you can substitute with spinach or even kale. Um, the way I'm gonna treat it today would be the same way that you would treat kale to make it um, palatable even raw. All right. I think that's good and plenty. Yeah, that is fine enough. Okay. If you've been following us on our website, you'll know that we moved from Crystal River, which we loved. Crystal River, however, <laughs> is not known for its Jamaicanness. So there's not a lot of options there for us if we wanted to get something, you know, like Jamaican produce. So we're not going to find Kalaloo in Crystal River, but, I, but you can, however, use spinach. But now that we moved to Orlando, you know, where there is more demand for Jamaican produce, because there are more Jamaicans here, we have access to fresh kalaloo. All right, it's beautiful. The first thing you want to do, guys, is um, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. Just a little bit. And what we're doing, essentially, is adding fat into the salad and when you add fat to the greens it, it kind of breaks it down a little bit so that it becomes softer and more palatable the next thing I do to all of my salads not just this calorie salad but any salad that I'm gonna make which is something a lot of people tend to forget to do or maybe don't even know to do is to season the salad. You really want to add a little bit of salt and pepper because that will go a long way. So I'm going to sprinkle coarse salt on it mm -hmm. and some freshly ground black pepper. Alright. We 
you want to add juice of maybe half of a lemon. Of course, you can do this. Excuse me, without the lemon squeeze. My husband. <laughs> Before he became my husband, when he was wooing me, he got me this lemon squeeze. So now you know it's obligatory. I have to use it. Just a juice of half of a lemon. And what the lemon does, the acid in it also breaks down the salad. Ah, good. So you're not using heat to cook it, but you are using different elements, for example, like the acid, and that will help to break down the salad. Then you're also using fat. That's the olive oil, and we're also going to use avocado. I'm going to massage avocado into it, and that also breaks down the, the green leaves. So now I'm going to use one ripe avocado. Yay, beautiful. Since I'm going to massage it in, I really don't have to worry about cutting it, you know, out of the skin and making it look pretty. We're basically just squeezing it out. There you go. So you want to make sure the avocado is really ripe in order to do this. So now guys, we're going to just use our fingertips, very good, and squish the avocado into the leaves. And if you're doing this with me, you'll also notice that the leaves start to feel more tender, they start to feel softer, they're creamier. And like I said guys, it's because the fat is coating the leaves and breaking them down. Alright, let's see what we've got. This will only take maybe a couple of minutes to work the avocado into the leaves. And when you do it like this, you really don't need a dressing because really the, the kalalu is already dressed. That is beautiful, right? <laughs> okay. Now I've got to go clean my fingers because this is a nice sticky mess. Alright guys, as you can see, the avocado has been massaged into the kalalu and it's looking really yummy. Now I have to do a shout out to my friend Doug Nicholson. We had a dinner party and we invited Doug and his wife over. And Doug who is, I want to say he's a renaissance man. <laughs> he sculpts, he paints, he cuts hair. Um, I, I don't know what Doug can do, he also sings. But he sells uh, the, this, the, these pottery. Um, that he made and he made this wonderful bowl for me so whenever I make salads I always put it in this bowl and Doug told me that it is microwavable I believe you can also stick it in the oven um, check him out guys on Google Plus it's Doug Nicholson in Crystal River he's a wonderful guy tell him Jen from Deja Need sent you all right so now we're gonna continue with our beautiful salad now it can be eaten like this it will be perfect but you know me, I like a little fancy to my salad. So we're gonna add some things to it. Uh, we're gonna add some dried cranberries or craisins. And that will add a bit of tartness to the salad. It's beautiful. Here we go. And we're gonna add some toasted almonds. This is just sli um, sliced almonds. That I toasted on the stove top, put it in your pan, turn it down on low, and let it go. When you start to smell something really yummy and you know, kind of like toast, and it's a little brown, then you're ready to go. Um, if you're doing a large batch, you can also put it in the oven, but we are in Florida, honey, and it is hot in the middle of summer. Well, no, summer hasn't started yet officially, but it's still quite hot. So, you know, you don't want to start your oven for something like, you know, a cup of almonds. So I normally just do it on the stove top and we're good to go. The other thing I like to add to it is um, corn. Now, I have found that a lot of people don't know that corn kernels are fantastic raw. I know we normally boil them or roast them or grill them, and you can. They're perfect that way because you know it's corn, but it's also beautiful and delicious and so very sweet when you do it raw. So next time, you know, you grab 
an ear of corn, be sure to try it raw. You'll probably never go back to cook corn. Yeah, that's plenty of corn. I'm gonna toss that in. Oh. Okay. And now, I think I'll add a little bit more almonds. We're gonna finish that off with a little bit of mangoes that I have cut up. This is about half of a mango that I've cut up. It's, it's mango season, so you'll find them everywhere. One of the things that, there's a popular song in Jamaica for you guys who don't know, and I'm probably gonna show my age because I haven't heard a young person sing this. <laughs> but here's the song. Me not drink coffee tea, mango time. Carol sweet, it may be mango time. How did you sell the mango crop? Or something like that, I don't remember. <laughs> but that's a song and it's celebrating all things mango. When it's mango season in Jamaica, everybody flocks towards mango and you can find it in America, if you've never had mango before or worked with mango, you simply peel the skin off, um, cut it. There's a, a big seed in the middle, so you want to cut it down around the seed. The knife will tell you, because the knife is probably not going to go through this big seed, and then you want to cut it up in cubes. And that's it. That is our raw uh, Kalaloo salad. It's a massaged Kalaloo salad. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I will post a video. In a maybe you know in a couple of days or so of stir fried kalaloo, and I'm gonna use the stalks of that kalaloo. So guys, I've taken the kalaloo salad that I made and I've put it into a little fancier presentation. What I did earlier um, was for family style. We put it at the table and everybody helped themselves. But if you wanted to do a plated presentation, I have a suggestion that would make it look really pretty. Now I took my knife. I went to look for my mandolin. <laughs> When I was shooting my video and in keeping with Murphy's Law, of course I couldn't find it. So I took my knife and I, cut, I took a cucumber and I made as thin a slice as I possibly could. You can do that to get these slices or you can use your mandolin which will make light work of it. And what I did was take each slice of cucumber, slice it lengthwise and then uh, folded it onto itself in a circle. Use a bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil and rub the, the end of each piece so that it will hold its shape in the circle. And I added to that the Kalaloo salad that we have made. And I'm going to just finish it off with a little bit of mango puree. And guys, this is really, really simple. It's um, about half of a mango that I put in the blender and blend it until smooth. I'm just gonna add it for presentation. And we pivot the plate so we're always working from a position that is comfortable beautiful isn't it beautiful <laughs> you want to make sure you clean the edge of the stew and that will give you a nice swipe and that's it how gorgeous is this my darlings guys like I said, the next time you get your hands on fresh kalaloo or kale or spinach, you might want to consider foregoing the stove and have it raw. Massage a bit of, of fat into it, season it with salt and pepper, and you will be good to go. This is Jen from Dejan Eats, home of the Ari Happy Vegan. I'm really glad that you could join us today. Why don't you visit my site at DejanEats.com and check out some more recipes and tips and say hi. Catch you later.